If you want to know how to make a similar game to Knife Ability Test in Roblox Studio, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end and watch the other parts too. Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to this brand new video. In this tutorial, we're going to be making a game like Knife Ability Test. The reason I came up with this idea because the game is yeah, pretty decent, quite nice. So I thought, okay, let's try and make a tutorial on it. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're new, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel because you'll be epic and pocketified gamer, and then you are cool. And else you're cool. Yes. If you want to become a member, make sure to click the blue join button down below. And um, for your information, I will not refund any payments. So if you buy something, um, it, it's not going to be refunded. If you want. Um, so we should kind of start off. In this tutorial, we're only going to be making a round system. So every is just going to make a looping infinite round system. So you could like teleport it. It's quite easy, and yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. I made a lot of tutorials on this, but this is part one, so we're just gonna like build it up. So yes, so you wanna start off by making a script, a script service, and then you wanna type game. A player is a player added. Call it connect function plr. Yes, and then local leader stats is equals to instance that new folder leader stats leader stats that name is to leader stats and we're gonna put it immediately in our player like this now we're gonna be doing local points is equals to instance that new number value we're gonna immediately insert that to, to leader stats points that name is equals to points and points value is equal to zero Gonna take this, boom, wins, wins, like this. So that's your first leader stats script, cause, cause yes. Um, so because that is the thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna put. Let me see what we need. Um. Yeah, we gotta go into starter GUI, screen GUI, intermission. Text label, and just make it one comma zero, like this. Put, don't put anything in the label. Okay, I'm gonna do guff and black. I'm gonna put in a local script. What we're gonna be doing is um, wall true script up here in the text is equals to game dot workspace mini game handler dot status bar dot value wait just like this easy peasy. Now we're gonna be doing a script over here mini game handler. And an int value with status bar. Yeah, now we can do. This is a bit of a hard script. Local status is equals to script dot status bar. Local values is equals to game that replicate a storage values. Local ticking clock is equals to zero. Local win amount is equals to one. Local point amount equals to what and while well, true do like this second clock da is equals to fifteen repeat uh repeat second clock is equals to second clock minus one start at that value is equal to next mini well next cat round starting in dot dot ticking clock 
and then we're gonna wait one second to do this and then until the ticking clock equals to zero then uh, wait, oh equals equals to zero then start at that value it's equals to round starting we're gonna wait two seconds um wait to local selected map equals to game that replicated storage that map maps call it get children originally like get children is like getting everything inside of a folder local chosen map is equals to map at random one out of the selected map and then current number is equals to zero for i equals one comma selected map do current number is equals to current number plus one if current number equals equals to the chosen map then selected map i bracket i clone clone dot parent is equals to game dot workspace um let me just find out current map yes workspace like this current map is equal to selected map i dot name because yes start of that value is equal to the chosen map is dot, dot selected map i dot name yeah uh, yep, that's your for I loop. We're gonna wait three seconds to display that. Now we're gonna get every player in the game by saying local players because the game of players come on. Get children. For I equals one, comma, out of every player do. Uh, local randomized number is equals to math.random, one out of eight. So we're gonna put eight spawns. Players I. The character that head that C frame is equal to C frame dot new game the workspace that teleports and then bracket parts and then dot dot randomized number dot position. Yep. And then players I dot Character dot parent is equal to game dot workspace dot players in game. Such a headache, holy. Make a folder players in game. You're almost done with the script, don't worry. Um let me see. Okay, repeat. Uh ticking clock is equal to ticking clock minus one. And we forgot something, and that is the ticking clock, setting it to 60 seconds. Now we're going to do status at value. It's equal to ticking clock. Dot, dot. Seconds left. Wait one until ticking clock equals equals to zero. Gonna, we're going to finish that up soon. Like in a further tutorial, we're going to make a knife and... um. An ability so if you're the only one standing you'll win if values dot winner value dot value is other than nothing then start at that value equals to values dot winner value that value dot dot has one I'm just gonna copy this if you need it game dot players bracket dot leader stats dot points but you get points for killing people too. The value is equals to game dot players with that in brackets. That leader stats. That points. That value plus point amount. Yush. Value is that winner value. That value equals to nothing again because we're gonna reset it. If this is all not the case, start at that value equals to. No one has won this round. Well, actually, that means the time is up, but okay. 
We'll wait. We're going to wait three seconds. We're going to do local players in game. It's equals to game that workspace. Players in game. Going to get children. I'm just going to define all players. For I equals one, comma, hashtag player in game do. We're now going to define a player self. So local PLR is equals to game that players. Colon get player from character. Players in game I. Because we're going to make a loop. And then player colon load character. Which we're going to reset all players. And we're going to reset our map by saying game. That workspace. Current map. Colon destroy. Like this. Now we just need some values, which is over here. Make two folders. Boom. A maps and a values. Get a string value in here with winner value. Um, get, well, yeah, you can make some maps over there. Map one. Well, actually, gonna put them over there. Map two, three, four. Make sure the maps are in the same place. Mine, so you can just boom. So that's your map. I'm just gonna anchor. Why are you not anchoring? Hello. Anchor everything. Put it back. Wait, where's my... Oh. Like this. Now, all you need is this. And then, you're gonna copy it eight times. Just wanna name them. Part one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight. Group them and name them teleports, and I believe we're quite done yet. Uh, gonna put that over here. Bit bigger. Make sure they're above the ground. All of them are anchored. Can't collect false. Put your maps in here, and let's test this out. Zero. That's strange. I think I know, instead of an int value, I gotta do a string value. With status bar like this yep that works 10 9 8 7 6 1 0 run starting Chose a map, map two. We get teleported, and then we're gonna make it so you get a knife in the next tutorial. So this is a the the round system. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll get parts to thrown out free to watch. And as I said, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. This is newbie, and I say peace out. <laughs>